Lucy Dreamer's audiobook. Part 4 Index Stuff Now immortality is logically derived. The cinema of creation shared. It's not far into the black hole. The wave announces itself in the audiobook after this one. But first, follow our journey on planet Earth. What is already growing and thriving. The viruses of healing. Welcome to Wonderland. For more than 50 years, something is happening that surpasses your wildest fantasies. We are rising up. The next pages are a love declaration to the global tribe of all nations, races, creatures. Rainbow peace movement. One tribe, one planet. Afterwards follows the conference of the underground leading to the most important pages of humanity. Receipt for Revolution Part 2 Quoted from the movie La Belle Verde, The Green Beautiful. Your mother is 150 years? Yes, she already got her third teeth. Around 135, the third teeth are growing. We have also died early in the industrial age. And who rules the planet? All and none. Once a year, there is a planet's council with the emissaries of the regions on a mountain stop. Why on a mountain stop? The higher you climb into the mountains, the more refreshing it is for the mind. And in the afternoon, we train our brain. We get lessons in telepathy, clairvoyance, interstellar travel and space math. The French comedy La Belle Verte, The Green Beautiful of 1969, was broadcasted only rarely and late night. In five minutes you learn more than in your whole school time. The efficiency of the extraterrestrials is maximum. Twenty years ago, this movie captured what will happen. The movie origins from the rainbow movement. It couldn't have been otherwise. Prelude Rainbow Movement. We are rising up. Here it's very practical. I just have to jump out of my trailer into the next rainbow nest to get a live recording. Far, far away, close to the heartbeat of up in the trees, facing another universe, real-time evolution of mankind, living swarm intelligence. Here is quoted where the rainbow name origins. When the earth is ravaged, and all the animals are dying. A new tribe of people shall come unto the earth from many colors, creeds and classes and who, by their actions and deeds, shall make the earth green again. They shall be known as warriors of the rainbow, says the Hopi prophecy from an Indian tribe. Rainbow gatherings happen each moon cycle for a period of four weeks, continually since 1972. 
It's a peace movement, an evolutionary organism. No harmful drugs, no organizer, no money, no trash. Rainbow is far beyond festival. It is how humans would live on this planet, will live on this planet. Building a swarm intelligence, connecting to a cluster, forming circles, spirals, unity. It's like a National Geographic's journey to the most beautiful places in the world. And the guide says, and here you can witness human creatures in their natural habitat, without any outer force. This place feels endless. We live here. Randomness, craziness, playfulness. Welcome home. Creating a rainbow is creating a cozy and soft place for the magicians, said Crystal Light. Imagine a magical world. from a rainbow gathering invitation. Rainbow is beyond a festival. It's a gathering for peace, for healing, for music, for love, for joy, for gratitude. We create a space where the magic happens and stays among us. Bring your seed of creation, peace, abundance, understanding, wisdom, sharing. And put it into the circle that together we create an endless circle. Child, healer, light warrior, lover and beloved, peacemaker, families of all colors. We gather to care for ourselves and each other and share our resources. We gather in harmony with our mother nature and all her beings. We gather to transcend conflicts and raise each other up, to return home and heal the wounds, for peace on earth and in our hearts, in solidarity with all nomadic tribes. We gather to remember who we are. We gather to plunge deep into ourselves, for global consciousness, for all our relations, in celebration, in oneness, in love. Note, one could call rainbow gatherings also largest illegal gathering of a non-organization made up of non-members. Rainbow world gathering story, journey into a magical world, here and back again. Impressions of World Rainbow Gathering in Hungary in September 2014. The sounds of the night and the color of life, the instruments played by the best musicians, the people and love, the sounds of the raving in the wild, 
laughing, dancing, stomping and storytelling. Respect and responsibility. Playing and learning. All at the same time in dozens of places around you. Trumpet players in the background. Children walking with ravens. Magicians and fabulous creatures. Pirates and wolves. Hundreds of beings who have an incredible beauty and radiation. You feel a different frequency, an energy. It's family. Welcome home, sister. Carried by a community spirit. A temporary autonomous zone that works like an organism impressively well. Connections and circles shape networked and resilient structures with a fast response in time throughout the whole rainbow camp. The networks and connections of the many camps, the fire circles, the kitchen, the events, and the people among each other create an instantaneous and dynamic system. A rainbow gathering lasts around four weeks. Everyone comes and goes when he wants. There are no rainbows. Everyone is family. No electricity, no internet, no garbage, no entry pay. Basic needs are saturated. Characters, talents and beauties unfold. There is no time. No mobile phone, no weekdays. Changing the world is about changing ourselves and express what you've changed. There are no rules and no leaders. We make decisions in a talking circle. Each person has a voice. We are all equal. We listen with respect until consonance is reached. Rainbow is not tourism. It's a worldwide tribe that creates itself in itself, that carries incredible changing and miraculous potential. It's a school of life, and it's just real. There are no organizers, no core or headquarters, only focalizers, exploring the areas decided in the Visions Council. They form rainbow caravans, which are followed by seed camps that build the first foundation of the rainbow structure. Then the invitation goes to the whole rainbow family, where everybody also contributes to the flourishing life on the spot. There are no guests at the rainbow. From the first moment, you're the same. If you see a job, it's yours. At full moon celebration, there were about 2,500 people to the food circle served with handmade gnocchi menu from the Italian rainbow family. Until sunset, the day was silenced, called Silent Day. Afterwards, danced and unleashed until next day noon. That from narrations, I was only some time after full moon for five days at the rainbow. Violin, double bass, fiddle, accordion, next to the most beautiful German punk rock cover I've ever heard. White fairies dancing to the music in the kitchen. Delicate and tragic songs from the aboriginal tribes of the earth. Varying to beetle songs at the main fire. Punk rock at Sesame Street and acoustic metal covers in my camp called Dragon's Nest, that formed years before and even has her own Facebook group. A maximum mix of cultures, from Israel to Swiss, from England to Spain, from Africa to Australia, dwelling all together in Dragon's Nest within the nest. The sounds of the night... Until the morning hours, the shouts, howlings and calls of human creatures deep in the woods were echoed. While deep drumming sounds complement the graceful guitar sounds in the camp next door. I did not want to fall asleep 
because it was so astounding beautiful and new. Because with every sound, every view, so many inner layers were touched. Everyone is free, is absolutely pure. The rainbow is a living organism. News about neatest things or places and events carry themselves with incredible speed over the whole camp. Everything is flowing via connections and circles. The smallest circle is that of your camp, and the many camps are closely linked to each other by the crowds of travelers, their communications and connectivity. A rainbow warrior has never any needs. It comes to him, sometimes even before he asks, said Silver Birch. When I said to my three-year-old son, you can sleep at night when you want and where you want. You are free to do whatever you want. I'll be with you until you fall asleep. I'll carry you from one fire circle to the next and go through the night with magicians, pirates and musicians. I felt what life on rainbow means, not only for children. An incredible density and intensity of perceptions, emotions and life at the same time. Unleashed and clear, warm and hardening, naked and wild. Deep connections are made. Who once was on a rainbow actually never comes back. Siempre para siempre, siempre. Addition after four additional rainbow gatherings. Rainbow describes a high civilization in development of mankind. There are countless workshops and events happening on topics of sustainability, permaculture, healing, music, crafts, natural sciences and ancient knowledge. Not planned, just because everyone shares what he knows. From the wild food workshop to yurt building, from the theatralic workshop to kung fu skills, quantum physic workshop, yoga, poetry slam, meditation, concert of silence, board games, as well as global eco village network, an infinite school. For children, there arise children's kitchen children's places and pirate schools. Say No workshop. Black Sabbath metal workshop. Throat singing workshop. Holotropic breathing. How to travel intercontinental without money. Revolution workshop. Share your fantasy. Here it's getting real. There are connections for everything. If you don't know whether picked up mushrooms are edible, you ask in the next circle for a mushroom connection. Is there a healer connection, sleeping bag connection, pen connection, tent connection, chocolate connection, car connection, sleeping circle to Mordor camp? The most funniest word combinations get literal meaning. During the nights, ancient games get alive. 
Roleplays like Werewolf and Mafia. No one misses cinema. The sparkling pirate elf from Australia is also an Goa Psytrance artist. Festival spirit connections everywhere. Rainbow reality. Far, far away. World tribal community. See all the alchemy happening around. Telepathic internet. We share everything. Holding space for the vision. Whatever you need, there's a connection, even for transformation of darkness. An Austrian dark elf, whose princely dwelling was half a kilometer away in the high forest, told me of the gathering in the month before, in Romania. There he was part of the dark chai kitchen, a place for the lost, the lonely and the sad ones. At the gathering in Spain in 2015, the last day something like a fight club happened. At the tenderly prepared sacred fire living room. There is a place for every color of human existence. That's why you are welcomed with Welcome Home. There are also rainbow sailing ships. The captain of a rainbow ship sailing from gathering to gathering, introduced in Portugal. Rainbow Stories, Fairy Tale 2.0 Because these memories do not stop to move so deeply. At the Iberian gathering, a woman has simply left her car, which she wanted to get rid of anyway. She left the key and a note, the car is a gift to who wants it. Instead of four vans on 200 hippies, we had now also a rainbow car. In addition to the horse that a farmer from the nearest farm had parked near our spring. In the Spanish hinterland, the police and forest rangers came almost every day on their motocross bikes to check whether we only operate at the agreed fire sites. The rainbow adapted to the forest fire danger. There were only well-secured fire at the welcome, the kitchen, main circle, as well as an ingenious clay oven turtle and a pizza bakery in the hill. The pool above the cliffs that serves the firefighting helicopters to fill their water bags in case of forest is burning, we used as rainbow swimming pool. Enjoyed Grand Canyon panorama. Felt the meaning of VIP. The National Park Rangers felt happy about our anarchy. A policeman wanted to take part in the talking circle in the tipi and had to put his weapon self willingly on the ground outer circle. The inhabitants of the faraway village sent us giant pans drummers and instruments to be transported through 20 kilometers of wild land, an affecting reaction of natives to one of the most remote rainbows ever. Two days walk for the nearest civilization. Reborn. A Bulgarian boy has lost his wallet, left back his girlfriend and home, came without baggage, three days after he had heard about Rainbow for the first time. Within days, you get to witness the most beautiful transformation that can happen to humans. He finally gave himself the new name Leo, found himself filled with abundance and love. Having nothing is having everything. There is no problem. Only if it's now. Very interesting is how at Rainbow Gathering is dealt with incidents. Anarchy also means you can destroy everything. Action, reaction. 
impulses in the here and now regulate situations that the flow can go on. There is always a solution. For example, the Trubadix method. If one doesn't stop to annoy and doesn't want to leave, he can get bound to a tree for a while. In Portugal, someone was pushed with a wave front out of the area. There are many possibilities to solve disturbing factors elegantly. To loosen knots. An organism always finds a way. Be like water. Be grounded. This is anarchy. It's like ruling and serving the world at the same time. Chaos creating perfection. You learn a lot about aspects of hygiene, raw food and plant medicine at any rainbow. Look how a million people can drink from one cup. How to keep your bacteria with you. How clean a forest toilet can be called shit pit or magic pit. How useful ash and vinegar are. There are healing areas. A dream. Afterwards, you can never enter a hospital again without wondering why we gave the disease and not the cure a place. Living swarm intelligence. Anything that goes wrong every day will less occur in the next days because everyone in the camp can hear the announcements at the food circles. Knowledge is shared and learn from mistakes. At a rainbow, a focus shout silences hundred creatures gathered in a circle. Focus means this woman speaks. That is what a 19-year-old youngster said when he silenced the food circle as well as an Hector mountain valley, helping a girl to announce her concern. Myself was at the welcome, 500 meters away. She told her sorrows and didn't shout. She talked like in any conversation. I didn't know that humans can hear conversations over kilometers of range. Silent day. From a notebook I captured. It's my day of silence. A full day of listening. Listening to you, listening to my heart. An impressive rainbow tradition. The day before or after full moon party, everything is silenced throughout the whole camp. Magic when at sunset, the um and the drums break the silence. People start stamping and rolling in the dust of the sacred fire. Hundreds of musicians wake up, thousands dance and cheer.
The sacred fire is the heart, a living room. This fire is always burning. The ash is very clean. The fire is holy. It builds the main circle, a pulsating place where you feel for the first time the state of unity. After three days, you know the whole camp. All meet twice a day in a circle, on main fire. You didn't know how sharp your eyes can be when there is so much to see. There you will experience the most ingenious food distribution system ever. No matter if 50 or 2,000 people. Within half an hour, all are supplied with a several courses menu. Spices circulate automatically. From above, the food servers draw circling spirals within a circle, like bees swirling around. You sit, you'll be served. Just need a bowl. Those who come too late are always served first. First time, second time, any time food. Both vegan and raw food. On larger rainbows, there are children's own kitchen, children's places, children's food circle. At the gathering in Spain at the welcome, there was a notice flag. This is quoted. We love our air. We are aware about the words we speak. We love our water. We avoid to pee or poo above the water collection. To wash, we take water away and avoid using soap. We love our fire. We only burn dead wood, avoiding habitats. We are aware of our cigarette butts and ashes. We love our earth. We collect all our rubbish and carry out what we carry in. We use the poo pit to donate our poo to the earth. A rainbow always takes place near clean, fresh spring water. An area on which a rainbow took place gets several years resting period before it again it can nest a rainbow. We gather to plunge deep into ourselves. At any time there are retreats, silence. You can also live on a rainbow for weeks without talking or doing anything. Do what you want. Suddenly, people are free. Need neither to care for money nor for time. Neither for food nor for warmth. It's interesting how relaxed the chaos is created here. A world gathering is also a council meeting of the planet. World Gathering is Planets Council. Every day, talking circles, vision circles take place. There, the vision, the awareness of the camp is concentrated in a circle. At World Gathering, this place is for example called Pangea. That was the name of the continent when all continents were one. Up to now, I skipped the explanation of magic hat principle. How money and rainbow fits together. The wonderful Lala put it straight. Look, magic hat works like this. You take out a few coins of your wallet, take your wallet, your ID, your cash card and put it right into the hat. You only have to do this once. Magic hat is passed by after food circle to transform money into food coming from farmers nearby. Many already use no money anymore. What makes them rich? And the magic hat song goes like It's the more that I get
The world formula is within the circle. Reinvent the wheel. In fact, the wheel was the first circular structure we used after the fire. Fire equals circle because the winter equals darkness is so better to survive. It's a circle which we must continue to functionalize. Rainbow gathering is circle movement. A meeting in circles connected with nature for all tribes, nations, people of all colors is a holistic circle for our species on this planet. Shapes future life forms in the rhythm of lunar cycles. A fractal growing organism forms anarchy and chaos, love and unity. Rainbow map is alive. Here we see a snapshot sketch of a rainbow gathering on the map. Fractals connect circles. The structures of the seed camps grow in the rhythm of the moon, build up and reduce, adapt to the flow of energy of the buzzing beings. Mountain, valley, river, a huge area, retreats as well as silence, connectivity as wilderness, space for saturation of every need. There is a place for grief and violence as well. Diversity is evolution of consciousness. Abundance for everyone. We are organism. Rainbow gatherings take place constantly in many places at the same time. From the temples of the Maya to the landscapes close to the nature reservoirs far away from the old system, in the motherships of life. This is how we work best. There flourishes life since 1972 and waits until the planet wants to recover from the illness man created, until we can expand our paradise, hold space for the vision. Rainbow is a wandering tribe with maximum flexibility. The gatherings take more often place in the warmer months, but also in winter in favorable climate zones. The analogon is also present in winter, in Scandinavia, for example, under the name Tin family. A similar meeting of tribes and families. Living within the geometry of nature works in all climate zones. And here is a rainbow joke. What should happen? The worst that can happen is that you wake up by the alarm clock and have to go to work. Feels like the big summer holidays forever. Imagine the whole world umming. A quantum hop. Yes, just imagine that omming. It's enough if a fraction of the world oms at the same time. Feels like this. I call this picture rainbow circle resonance. Full moon. It's epic when the harmonious frequency that man can sound focuses and wipes hectares of rainbow aerial at the same time in dozens of motherships of life all over the planet. If you want to find the secrets of universe, think in terms of energy, frequency and vibration, said Nikola Tesla. And in fact, the OM is simply the longest noise we can make as a human being. So, and this is our time scale, and we are living so fast in our time scale compared to the cosmic time scale where everything is going so slow. 
that's why meditation and these om and resonance states are so important to get one with the universe so in the last time it's getting slower and slower until zero imagine the whole world amen a quantum hop We are all the same. Can you feel it? Feels beautiful. Hope. Taking my children with me. I want to give them a memory to the future. And this is also why I cry at Rainbow. It's deeply touching to see on Rainbow Gatherings how children of the new age grow up a childhood in peace and nature in abundance and love at the university of life one wishes this childhood everyone these children will heal our planet a generation of crystal children will teach us The current generation of awakened children is called crystal children. They explain the world to you crystal clear. For example, in YouTube, the eight-year-old kid explains dark matter and universe, or crystal child information about human body. It is so inspiring to realize these children are the greatest sparkles consciousness ever had. So here I decided to let the rainbow chapter end with a deep OM mantra by DJ Empty Space. But before, a preview to the next part. There, Lucy Dream falls into a black hole, the conference of underground. Here, your reality ends. Why cities die out? And why before 2020, a wave is coming. Science and spirituality have already been united. The current state is overwhelming everything. So, Lucy Dream becomes history. The book was the missing puzzle piece between shamanic knowledge, the active ingredients of nature, and knowledge of humanity. What is called metamorphosis in this act is in detail a dimensional shift from 3D to 5D that is about to happen to everyone. You do not even have to wait for the wave. You can activate a body-owned multidimensional spaceship in short time called Merkaba. This ancient rediscovered knowledge is something like God's math. It's so simple, it is, it is mathematically decoded by vortex math. So key to universe is now plain text, public. Time for a new age. Mm -hmm.